Welcome to Nona's Here. I'm Nona, and I'm so glad you stopped by today. Today, I am joining in the open invite with the theme, Butterflies. I have made three craft projects using butterflies. They're fun, easy, and budget-friendly. And believe me, if I can do them, so can you. So let's get over to my craft table and I'll show you my craft projects using the theme butterflies. Thanks so much for visiting me today and I hope you enjoy my video. DIY number one. For this first project, I use this little crate that I got at Dollar Tree. I'm going to use these butterfly stickers that I also got at Dollar, Dollar Tree. They're the 3D kind. I'm going to use some styrofoam block and I'm going to use this laser cut word forever. You get like four in a package that I got at Dollar Tree. I'm also going to use some of these stems from a flower bunch that I got at Dollar Tree. I'm not going to use the flowers, just the stems. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint my crate with some sage green Waverly chalk paint. I'm going to paint all four sides and a little bit of the inside. Then I'm going to take that styrofoam and I'm going to cut it so that it fits nice and securely inside of the crate, which I also painted a little bit of the inside of the crate. So once I get that styrofoam stuck in there, I'm going to take those butterflies that I showed you and I'm going to hot glue them onto some of those uh, stems that I had cut off from those flowers that I had already used. And just like that and stick them into the styrofoam. But before I stick them into the styrofoam, I'm going to take that floral moss and I'm going to hot glue it over the top of the styrofoam to cover the styrofoam. Then once I cover all of the styrofoam with the floral moss, which makes quite a mess, I'm going to use some hairspray and spray down the floral moss so it doesn't shed. This is, really works quite well to keep the floral moss from shedding. Then I took those little butterflies and stuck a whole bunch of them on those flower stems and stuck them into the styrofoam and made a butterfly garden. Now I'm taking some fern Waverly chalk paint and a stiff brush and I'm just dry brushing over the crate to give it a little bit of texture because it looked kind of flat. So I'm just dry brushing with that fern Waverly paint all over the crate just to give it a little bit of depth, including uh, the word forever that I had wood glued to the front of the garden box. There you can see I'm just dry brushing it all over and that will complete my butterfly garden. And here it is all finished. I dry brushed pretty heavily on the corners and on the top just to give it a little depth. There we go. And here it is all finished, my butterfly garden with the word forever on it. I want to introduce to you our host for today's Butterfly Open Invite. They are Tammy from Happiness Created and Ellie from DIY from House to Home. I'll be sure and include the link to their channels in the description box down below. They will have the playlist of all the creators who are joining in today and you'll want to be sure and check out all the crafters who are participating in the Butterfly Open Invite. Also, 
If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I sure would appreciate it if you would consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free and that bell right next to it so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Also, if you enjoy my video, give me a thumbs up like. If you know any crafters who might enjoy doing some of my craft projects, feel free to share my video. And of course, I love reading your comments. Okay, back to my next DIY. DIY number two. For this craft project, I used this little box with a lid that I got at Dollar Tree. And I also got this little, uh, oh, I'm going to use Ballet Slipper Waverly Chalk Paint. And I got this little butterfly ornament from Dollar Tree. Thought it was real cute. And I'm going to use some of those butterfly stickers. First, I'm going to paint the box with the ballet slipper and the lid with the ballet slipper chalk paint. And I'm going to paint both the lid and the box. And I'm going to then take my E6000 glue and glue the butterfly on top of the lid. Just like that. Then I'm going to use some of those stickers, those 3D stickers that I showed you in the first project and I'm just going to stick a couple of those on the lid of the box to add a little decoration around the box. Then I'm going to take some of my positivity little cards that I have that I got from Timu and I'm going to stick some of those into the box because this will be another project that goes in my church box that people take to shut-ins and people that are home recovering from surgery. Things that say like, um, happily ever after, live happily ever after, and it's tea time, and um, life is a highway. Let's see. Throw kindness around like confetti. It's a good day to be happy. Be silly, be honest, be kind. I just throw these little things in the boxes and bags that I take down to the church so that when people, volunteers, go and visit, I'll be your sunflower. Go and visit the shut-ins and people that are home uh, recuperating from surgery can take with them. DIY number three. All right, for this one, I got a board sign from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to use the back. And I'm going to use some white chalk paint and some ocean blue chalk paint. Again, I was going to use these stems from the flower uh, flowers, but I decided not to. Then I'm going to use those fly, uh, butterflies that I got from Dollar Tree, and again, those 3D stickers, flower, uh, butterflies from Dollar Tree. Um, and the butterflies, the big butterflies, are also the 3D stickers. So what I'm doing here is I'm covering the board with the white, and then I go back and pick up some blue and try and make it ombre, from light to dark up the board, okay? And so this is the only way I know how to make things ombre is just cover it with the lighter color and then slowly add the darker color and blend it in. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here is just blending, blending, blending till I feel like it's slightly ombre. Then I'm going to take the butterflies and I'm going to stick them on the board, flying up the board. And at first I was going to stick the um, stems on them and make them look like they were flying up a tree, but that didn't look right, so I just stuck them on free form. And I took this pretty blue ribbon and made a hanger in the back. So here are the bigger butterflies, and you can see 
how they um, have those little foam stickers on them. And I stuck them on using hot glue. And so I just stuck them on randomly, and some of them are flying off the board. They're all flying upward, but some of them are flying off the board to the right and to the left. So they kind of make the eye go upward and outward. Then I took that pretty blue ribbon and hot glued it to the back and made a hanger. And that's the end. That's how that project came out. So I want you to stay to the end and vote on which one is your favorite of my projects. There's the butterfly board and how it came out. I thought it came out kind of cute. So there is my butterfly garden. That's number one. Is that your favorite? Or is number two, the butterfly box, your favorite? Or is number three, the flying butterflies, your favorite number three? Vote in the comments below. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. And a thanks to our host, Tammy and Ellie, for allowing me to join in today. Thanks so much to everyone for joining in Known As Here and this collaboration. And I hope to see you again at Known As Here very soon. Bye.